The axion is a hypothetical elementary particle postulated by the Pecchia Quinn theory in 1977 to resolve the strong CP problem in quantum chromodynamics. If axions exist and have low mass within a specific range, they are of interest as a possible component of cold dark matter. History Prediction as shown by Gerardis T. Hooft Strong interactions of the standard model, QCD, possess a non-trivial vacuum structure that in principle permits violation of the combined symmetries of charge conjugation and parity collectively known as a CP. Together with effects generated by weak interactions, the effective periodic strong CP violating term, theta, appears as a standard model input. Its value is not predicted by the theory, but must be measured. However, large CP violating interactions originating from QCD would induce a large electric dipole moment for the neutron. Experimental constraints on the currently unobserved EDM implies CP violation from QCD must be extremely tiny and thus theta must itself be extremely small, since a priori theta could have any value between 0 and 2 pi. This presents a naturalness problem for the standard model. Why should this parameter find itself so close to 0? This question constitutes what is known as the strong CP problem. One simple solution exists. If at least one of the quarks of the standard model is massless, theta becomes unobservable. However, empirical evidence strongly suggests that none of the quarks are massless. In 1977, Roberto Pecchia and Helen Quinn postulated a more elegant solution to the strong CP problem, the Pecchia-Quinn mechanism. The idea is to effectively promote theta to a field. This is accomplished by adding a new global symmetry that becomes spontaneously broken. This results in a new particle, as shown by Frank Wilkzik and Steven Weinberg, that fills the role of theta, naturally relaxing the CP violation parameter to zero. This hypothesized new particle is called the axion. Spoil the Pecchia Quinn symmetry explicitly and provide a small mass for the axion. Hence, the axion is actually a pseudonambu Goldstone Bose, and the original Weinberg Wilkzik axion was ruled out. Current literature discusses the mechanism as the invisible axion, which has two forms KSVZ and DFSZ. Such as it had been thought that the invisible axion solves the strong CP problem without being amenable to verification by experiment. Axion models choose coupling that does not appear in any of the prior experiments. The very weakly coupled axion is also very light because axion couplings and mass are proportional. The situation changed when it was shown that a very light axion is overproduced in the early universe and therefore excluded. The critical mass is of order 10 minus 11 times the electron mass, where axions may account for the dark matter. The axion is thus a dark matter candidate, as well as a solution to the strong CP problem. Furthermore, in 1983, Pierre Sikivy wrote down the modification of Maxwell's equations from a light-stable axion and showed that axions can be detected on Earth by converting them to photons. Using a strong magnetic field, the principle of the ADMX, solar axions may be converted to X-rays, as in cast. Many experiments are searching laser light for signs of axions. Experiments The Italian PVLAS experiment searches for polarization changes of light propagating in a magnetic field. The concept was first put forward in 1986 by Luciano Maiani, Roberto Petronzio and Emilio Zavattini. A rotation claim in 2006 was excluded by an upgraded setup. An optimized search began in 2014. Another technique is so-called light shining through walls, where light passes through an intense magnetic field to convert photons into axions that pass through metal. Experiments by BFRS and a team led by Rizzo ruled out an axion cause. 
Gamev saw no events in a 2008 PRL. Alpsi conducted similar runs, setting new constraints in 2010. Alps 2 will run in 2014. OSQAR found no signal, limiting coupling and will continue. Several experiments search for astrophysical axions by the Primakov effect which converts axions to photons and vice versa in electromagnetic fields. Axions can be produced in the sun's core when X-rays scatter in strong electric fields. The CAST Solar Telescope is underway, and has set limits on coupling to photons and electrons. ADMX searches the galactic dark matter halo for resonant axions with a cold microwave cavity and has excluded optimistic axion models in the 1.9 minus 3.53 MuEV range. It is amidst a series of upgrades and is taking new data, including at 4.9 minus 6.2 microEV. Resonance effects may be evident in dose of sun junctions from a supposed high flux of axions from the galactic halo with mass of 0.11 MeV and density. 6998500000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
predictions 1 theory of axions relevant to cosmology had predicted that they would have no electric charge a very small mass in the range from 10 minus 6 to 7 one electron volt c2 and very low interaction cross sections for strong and weak forces because of their properties, axions would interact only minimally with ordinary matter. Axions would change to and from photons in magnetic fields. Supersymmetry In supersymmetric theories the axion has both a scalar and a fermionic superpartner. The fermionic superpartner of the axion is called the axino. The scalar superpartner is called the saxion or dilatin. They are all bundled up in a chiral superfield. The axino has been predicted to be the lightest supersymmetric particle in such a model. In part due to this property, it is considered a candidate for dark matter. Cosmological implications theory suggests that axions were created abundantly during the Big Bang because of a unique coupling to the instanton field of the primordial universe. An effective dynamical friction is created during the acquisition of mass following cosmic inflation. This robs all such primordial axions of their kinetic energy. If axions have low mass, thus preventing other decay modes, theories predict that the universe would be filled with a very cold Bose-Einstein condensate of primordial axions. Hence, axions could plausibly explain the dark matter problem of physical cosmology. Observational studies are underway, but they are not yet sufficiently sensitive to probe the mass regions if they are the solution to the dark matter problem. High mass axions of the kind searched for by Jain and Singh would not persist in the modern universe. Low mass axions could have additional structure at the galactic scale. As they continuously fell into a galaxy from the intergalactic medium, they would be denser in caustic rings. Just as the stream of water in a continuously flowing fountain is thicker at its peak, the gravitational effects of these rings on galactic structure and rotation might then be observable. Other cold dark matter theoretical candidates, such as WIMPs and MACHOs, could also form such rings. But because such candidates are fermionic and thus experience friction or scattering among themselves, the rings would be less pronounced. Axions would also have stopped interaction with normal matter at a different moment than other more massive dark particles. The lingering effects of this difference could perhaps be calculated and observed astronomically. Axions may hold the key to the solar corona heating problem.